hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology nice to see you back and i had made the video on hansa mahapurush yoga with examples and many of you liked it and you expressed your gratitude to me so thank you very much for that and as requested the video for shasha mahapurush yoga is here which is formed when saturn is in the kendra houses which means this 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 or this and in signs 7 10 or 11 because these three signs are the ones where saturn will be either in own sign or mool trikon or in exaltation and today we will discuss about this yoga a bit in brief and there are some special conditions to this yoga which i have seen in my experience working quite well and today i will also explain how this horoscope qualifies for this Mahapurush Yoga along with these special conditions okay because Saturn will stay in one sign for almost two and a half to three years so there are hundreds and thousands of people who will have this Mahapurush Yoga when Saturn is either in Libra, Capricorn or Aquarius but uh, you will see that in most of the cases this yoga does not fructify or does not give results okay well the funny thing is this yoga always gives results but the entire horoscope with the special conditions will decide to what extent this yoga will function okay so this chart as you see is the chart of a very successful businessman and the birth details are given 5 40 a.m in the morning 15th august 1984 new delhi india these are the birth details and this chart is being formed uh, from drikpanchang.com and this is the north indian style and some of you have asked me for the south indian style my apologies i am not able to show it here but anyways let us discuss about this Mahapurush yoga and uh, let us also discuss how this forms and how this is applying to this horoscope okay so as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me regarding any area of your life then you could go down to the description section of my videos where you will find the link to my website to book a reading with me personally and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay so now what what is mahapurush yoga we have discussed about it before but in short when planets like mercury venus saturn mars jupiter these five planets okay jupiter mars saturn mercury venus either of these are sitting in the kendra houses that is mandatory rule number one and the other rule is they should either be in own sign or mool trikon or exaltation okay and we know the mool trikon and own sign and exaltation sign for the planet so saturn gets exalted in libra number seven so this is not the seventh house this is the sign number seven okay this is the fourth house please do not confuse the house with the sign so saturn is sitting in the kendra one four seven ten and it is in exaltation so this yoga is formed mm -hmm. so whenever this yoga is formed according to parashara all the karakattvas of saturn is fully manifesting in the person's life okay so what does saturn represent saturn represents discipline commitment hard work uh, ability to tolerate things in life okay so saturn's strength uh is very important in the chart sun gives you name and fame you shine like the sun but the background work has to be done by saturn because he is the servant okay without him nothing can happen and that is why he is kal also and he rules the original 10th house of karma which is capricorn okay so now this person has been a very successful businessman and he has he has started his life from uh, a very humble place and he has achieved immense success in his life so now you may be thinking oh maybe i also have this mahapurush yoga so maybe i also will succeed or maybe i am not succeeding well 
why is it that this person is succeeding and why is it that not everybody succeeds like him okay now uh, i don't wish to discourage anybody here what i wish to say say is that there are many other conditions to this yoga which i have seen in my experience which if occurs in somebody's chart only then this yoga fructifies totally okay so what are the other yogas or combinations which are required well as i said in my mahapurush yoga video last time that whenever you are judging any mahapurush yoga or any raj yoga it is essential that you see uh, the strength of the ascendant the ascendant lord and sun and moon okay it is very important to judge these planets and the placements if that is not done properly then uh, no yoga can give good results okay because these three planets will show the determination and the will power and the conception of happiness and being in this world so suppose a mahapurush yoga is occurring but these three are not strong then what happens uh the person does not uh, use the results of the yoga okay so it's like saying the person is disciplined but the person doesn't uh, follow discipline but if he wishes he can okay that is inherently there in the person but he should follow discipline life also just by being uh, just by having discipline inside that is not enough okay if you don't use it in a practical level but today we are talking of shasha mahapurush yoga so there are some other conditions also which i have seen if they are also present then this yoga fructifies completely and to the extent the other con these conditions are fulfilled to that extent you will see this yoga fructifying more powerfully okay so what are the other conditions <clears throat> well first of all because this mahapurush yoga has to do with saturn so we must check the sixth house okay so the lord of the sixth house should be well placed in a good dignity number 1 then saturn is the lord of karma also okay so the 10th lord and the 11th lord also should be reasonably well placed okay because the 10th house deals with your karmas and 6th house deals with competitions breaking through obstacles in life and 11th house deals with ultimate gains in life okay and this yoga has to do with gain after struggle now this does not mean that anybody who has shasha mahapurush yoga will have to struggle throughout his life okay it's not like that but this yoga indicates that wherever you are you are born in a poor family or you are born in a millionaire's family if you work hard you will achieve immense success okay in all fr fronts of life so <clears throat> now let us try to examine all the conditions which i mentioned so now you see saturn is placed here in libra in exaltation it is phenomenally powerful it is giving this mahapurush yoga then let us check where sun is placed sun is placed in the lagna sun is very strong in the lagna it gives a lot of determination and uh, will power to the person so it is very strong in the lagna sun in general is very strong in the kendra Uh, may not be that great in the seventh and the fourth, but still decent enough. So here, sun is in the ascendant and in a friend sign. Uh, cancer is a friend sign, so sun does great in cancer. Although it could make a person a bit emotional sometimes, but it's good to have emotions. There's nothing wrong with having emotions. Then we need to check moon. so moon is placed in the ninth house in another friend sign pisces okay this is a great placement phenomenal placement and then is the lagna lord where is the lagna lord the lagna lord again is moon number 4 sign cancer again it is placed in the ninth house okay so the lagna lord and the ninth lord uh, the lagna lord is placed in the ninth house okay it is a phenomenal placement one of the best placements to have indeed without a doubt okay so these three planets here only two because moon itself is the ascendant lord so these two are very well placed and especially if they are in kendra and trikon they are considered to be even better and they are in friend sign which is even 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 better okay so the general condition for mahapurush yogas to occur is being fulfilled here okay 
but now as i said for this mahapurush yoga there are some other conditions also which has to be uh, fulfilled okay so what did i say i said that the uh, sixth lord has to be placed in a good dignity because that will tell you to what extent you like to struggle in life okay to what extent of course nobody likes to struggle but to what extent are you optimistic in struggling during the ups and downs in your life so here sixth lord is jupiter and it is placed in its own, own sign in fact uh, i don't know the degrees it will either be in multrikon or in own sign okay but anyways nonetheless it is very powerful here it is sitting in its own house it is very strong so this person is very uh, determined and geared towards uh, working in uh, working in a way which will fetch him lot of good results okay uh, this person does not waste time okay so this is a very phenomenal placement the lord of the sixth in its own house this is also known as a viparit raja yoga okay about which i will discuss later sometime then i told check the situation of the 10th lord okay so this saturn which is giving mahapurush yoga is aspecting the 10th house you see and the 10th lord is placed in the 5th house which is another fantastic placement and it is placed in own sign mars is the 10th lord in scorpio fantastic placement it is then we also need to check the situation of the 11th house so rahu is placed there and uh, rahu in the 11th is very good for gains and the 11th lord is venus it is placed in the second house with mercury uh leo is not a very great sign for venus but uh, at least for money reasons whenever the second and the 11th lord are having some kind of link it is considered fabulous okay so here the 11th lord in the second is fabulous for money at least so uh, here we have seen the other conditions like the 6th lord the 10th lord and the 11th lord all three being well placed two of them placed in own signs and one placed in a good house okay so this means that this yoga will completely fructify and give full results okay so nobody can stop this person from working hard and working and having lot of discipline in life and hereby getting lot of success in life okay success is guaranteed for such a person and this person as you can see moon as the lagna lord is in the ninth house he he is very spiritual and uh, he he is a wonderful personality and he is into different kinds of businesses and further details i will not reveal uh, this is what i want to say and uh, of course there are many things we can see in the chart uh regarding his family or marriage or health there are many areas but we have ignored all these things today because today we are only discussing about one particular area in this chart okay and that is the mahapurush yoga caused by saturn and yes now as usual uh, many people will write down in the comments that this is a very bad chart this is a terrible chart this is the worst chart they have ever seen okay they will uh throw out all their astrological garbage which they have they will say oh my god this placement is there his life is ruined his life is finished this is a terrible person he is a criminal he is a murderer well uh, let us try to see good in horoscopes like the way we see good in people okay because if we only see the bad in charts we will also see bad in people okay and these people are very easy to find out the moment they see somebody they will criticize them and they will find faults okay so there are a million difficulties in this chart there are million negatives in this chart okay about which i could have spoken but i did not speak because it doesn't make sense just finding out, uh, just pinpointing weaknesses and faults which everybody has so tr let's try to uh look towards the brighter side of life and let us try to see the good things and thereby help ourselves our friends family members neighbors and also if you are an astrologer you might have clients who come to you for readings 
so this will also help you to uh, develop an optimistic attitude towards a chart okay and there are many other principles like Gemini principles Nardi principles which I have not discussed which are also very good if we can discuss but because this video is on a specific topic uh, we have we are sticking to the point okay and I hope uh, you like this video and if you liked it then please uh, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who thinks uh, he or she has this Mahapurush Yoga but is wondering if this will perform well or not okay and uh, yes if you want a consultation from me regarding your chart then you could always go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you very much and the remaining three mahapurush yogas also i will discuss in the same way with some examples okay and along with the special conditions okay thank you very much uh, see you again bye bye